Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today has been a good day. My office is finally coming around the way I want it to be. So to take a look, I've got my tools, I got this stuff. I've got a lot of organizational stuff going on down here. I've got my erase board and stuff over here and I'm gonna transition maybe to a different camera angle so that y'all can see some of that. Hmm, I'll figure that one out later. But anyway guys, I wanted to uh, take the time to tell you guys um, about a problem with SDI video and the fact that a lot of people are still seeing this issue. When, when somebody's using an ESU of some sort and the SDI video cuts out and people get really confused about what causes that they wanna change out cables and stuff, it's almost definitely not the cables, all right? Um, it's almost definitely not most of your hardware. I've seen this problem probably about three or four times throughout my entire career. Now I specialize in surgical and more so audio video systems. And I have been called into this problem many times before. So I, it, it is something I'm very familiar with. The problem actually comes from your endoscopic camera. So here's what happens. SDI is a, it's a digital signal, but it uses like RF frequency to transmit. And when you know it, a pulse from an ESU is also an RF frequency. And all it takes is a little bit of induction from one signal to the other, and that digital signal that was RF no longer exists. So what happens is your video will black out. It blacks out because black is no data. So what it is, is it's interrupting and it's sending out like a chirp, which confuses your video system. It loses its negotiation and um, you lose your video signal. So guys, if you ever have the problem where you have uh, a video that's cutting out during some sort of laparoscopic or endoscopic procedure, what you should do is take a, whip out your phone, take a photo of the serial number of the camera being used. Because I bet you, I bet you, that camera is the common denominator between the video outages that you're seeing throughout your department. What it is, they take it and it goes and gets processed, comes back out into another random case, so another room starts doing the same exact problem. I've seen it many times, it's almost always the camera. Somehow, some way, it lost its shielding capabilities and the leakage from the ESU signal is, is affecting camera and it drops out your video. There you have it. SDI video issues with your ESUs and I've seen it many times guys. So check those cameras. I bet you that's your problem. Thanks for watching.